Hello everyone, my name is Sizen and welcome to my 100 day Arc Aberration journey. I've never played on this map before so it was definitely a challenge and from start to finish my growth made me really proud. And just letting everyone know, I play with no level cap for my character or dinos to make things more fun for myself. I also had 3x for my harvesting rates and increased egg hatch speed for an overall better gaming experience. Anyways guys, let's get this video started and don't forget if you like this video please subscribe and leave a like for me. So I started in the portal which was supposed to be the easiest, but as you can see, there's an alpha raptor in front of me, so I back up and go the other way. I then started punching the tree for some thatch, and then gathering some mushrooms. I ate the ones that said refreshing, um, I had no idea what any of these mushrooms did. Like I said, I've never played on this map before, so everything was completely new to me. But then I started making a pickaxe and some clothes, and then harvesting some crystal for the extra experience. And then this dodo seemed like a good target. After all, I didn't need meat and hide. Now I get it, that was quite a big skip, but I actually lost quite a bit of video footage. So here I am at Fertile Lake. This place seemed a little bit better. There was water. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my God. Already? Oh, don't you worry. I got the old raptor boy and I used them to make some hide clothes. And then I started building my first base. And don't you love when that happens? I then made a storage box because my weight was absolutely dookie. And then I placed all my heavy materials in there, went and gathered some more resources, and then built myself my first forge. Oh my, there's only so much sanity I have left, man. After being absolutely mauled by raptors over and over, I decided it was time for me to get my own. So I boloed this bad boy, and I hit him in the head with a couple of trank arrows, and down he went. I then went back to my base to build myself a raptor saddle, and then I named him Rapper. So original. But boy was I excited. My first tame. And this Pariser right here, this big boy, he was my first target. I decided I needed to level up my raptor, you know. But then, halfway through attacking this man, I saw my stamina was draining really, really fast, so I ran down the hill like a little... Anyways, I force fed my raptor so I could gain some health and stamina back. And then we got right back in there. Man's was messing me up, so I decided to go hide behind a tree because he stopped aggroing on me. And it gave me a chance to regen some of my health and stamina. But then I thought it was a bright idea to jump in the water, ran out of stamina, and then the Pariser killed my damn tank. My first tank. And look at that. Only one more shot and he was dead. Man, I was livid. So I went back home. And then this Ravager had the balls to break into my own home where I should feel safe and killed me. So I finally put him down, right? But don't take this lightly. He killed me five more times. I just did not have the guts to post it. I ended up naming him Ramen. Then after that, I went and tamed a bull dog, even though I had no idea what it did. Named him Rupert. And then I saw this level two raptor, and I was like, yeah, I can take him. So I booked it at him. And little did I know they can jump. I mean, come on, man. I ended up getting my raptor back and went after this white care package. So I hopped off my raptor after checking my surroundings. I then decided maybe a raptor's not gonna cut it, so I put down a stego. And then I tested out his different abilities. He had a hardened plate, which was these blue little scales. And then he had a sharpened plate, which was yellow. And look at this Berry collection. I mean, those numbers, bro. This is easily the most awkward stego fight ever. I then went home, and I had an idea. I was gonna build a climbing pick, because I've never used these on any other map. I thought they were so cool. Okay, now to this day, I still feel bad about this, but I ended up killing my own tech 
Parasaur because I needed his metal. And then I crafted up some chitin armor. And then we made a buttload of narcotics to take down this big boy Parasaur here. I wanted to make a move, a big move to a different location. So I was gonna need a big boy for the wait. And he finally fell. I was then finally, finally able to make a Ravager saddle. And man, was this the best day of my life? So I went out, and man, he could jump far. He's the fastest tame I've had yet so far. But here's our move. There was no time to waste, I started building my house and then farming up some stone so I could make some more forges. I then placed my forges, made my smithy, placed my smithy, and then of course I made a bed because I'm in a dangerous area now. So I needed to go get some water, right? And then I ended up screwing up this freaking big crab. I mean, I've never seen these before, but. I went back and got my Ravager, and for some reason I didn't farm the crab with my Ravager. But anyways, I mean, look at these numbers. Look how much chitin and polymer. It never ends. When I got back, I made a campfire, punched it. I need I needed to cook meat. I mean, I, I've been starving ever since the beginning of this game. And I started doing some more farming. And started making some cementing paste. I felt I was progressing pretty pretty well. I then ended up using my Ravager to fight something because I actually didn't get to use it yet. And man, this thing was pretty sick. I ended up making myself a sickle. And I was finally able to make a Spino saddle. And I dropped a Spino. Didn't get the footage of it, unfortunately, but... This took years. And when he finally tamed... I went to go name him... Armageddon? But I didn't know how to spell it. So I just named him Revenge. For everything that's freaking happened to me so far. But now, it was time... To wreak... Havoc. <laughs> Finally, out of this entire game so far, I was finally able to find a metal rock. I mean, look how excited I was. So I started gathering the metal, brought it back, and was able to make a fabricator. I mean, I thought I was doing pretty well at this point. My first time ever on Aberration. Ended up farming more rock. More cementing paper. And then, after an hour of looking, I was able to find... Blue gems. Yes, baby. I was on my way to making that hazard gear. And then, I ended up fighting a basilisk. I mean, dude, he was soaking up all that. He was level two? Finally able to make a long neck rifle. Made some gunpowder. Made some simple raffle ammo. And the ultimate goal here was some trank darts. And for god knows why, I ended up hitting the parasaur with an arrow instead of a dart. But I named him Bird. Don't know why. He just looked like a bird. 
but I really needed him for the berry collection, since my stego had died. Obviously, with all those narco berries, I started making some narcotics. And then I went to the blue zone, and these weird monkeys. What the hell? Why is he orange? And why do they have so much health? And why do they keep spawning, bro? I'm gonna die here. It, why? What are these things? Well, I got an absolute motherload of this nameless venom, which apparently you need to raise rock drakes. I then ended up making a gas collector and put it on this gas vein, which I also haven't experienced yet. And I went back after a little bit to check on it. Depressed on how much it put out, but whatever, it's what I needed to finally make that last piece of hazard gear, baby. So this was kind of a smack in my face, but this was literally steps away from my original base. All of this stone in here is metal. All of it. I mean, dude, look, it's the absolute glory. Once I was done, I tamed another bulb dog, and I named him Bulb. For some reason, I keep losing all of my bulb dogs. And another skip here, but I lost quite a bit of footage. But this was me taking my Ravager down to the red zone. And man, I was scared. And it started lagging real bad. And the radiation kicked in, and man, it was just an, a sensory overload. I then realized his health was dropping, so I had to force feed him. And down we went. I kept jumping because I heard there was Perlovia, ran into my first rock drake, and a motherload of these stupid monkeys. And then these two rock drakes kind of chased me out of where I was at, so I had to beat them up. And then I finally found what seems to be the rock drake nest. So I had to set up my zip line to the first rock drake egg. More force feeding. And then this douchebag attacked me out of nowhere. I mean, come on, man, I was minding my own business. He almost knocked me off, which would have been a very bad day. Anyways, more force feeding. I ended up jumping down because I couldn't get on the zip line and I jumped to the wrong egg. So now it's time to make the leap of faith here. But it looks like we made it. So now I positioned myself so I could jump on the zip line, grab the egg, and now I booked it. Got on that zip line, started crawling up. But no rock drakes. There was only a couple, and I wasn't worried. Until they started coming. One after one after one. I kind of was piddling my britches and just looking back and forth like a lost puppy. I then decided this was my chance. I must go. As I was running out, I kept getting hit in the booty from a rock drake. And so I turned around and decided I needed to kill him. How do you get out of here, man? I don't... I don't know where to go. Can I even get out of here? I then found... Uh, one of my bulb dogs. He was just floating in the air. So I jumped up and tried to grab him. But nothing was working. Ah, oh, screw it, man. I gotta leave him. And this is where it gets interesting. After all of that... No, bro. And here we are again. Back at it. This time, I didn't mess around, which was a bad idea, because I got smothered, absolutely smothered by rock drinks. Oh, oh man, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. 
And then they knocked me down all the way to the floor and I absolutely crapped my trousers, boy. They ended up pushing me back to this purple river and I was stuck in this corner fighting them nonstop. Over and over. Nonstop rock drinks. Dude, again, man? This had to be it. Third time's a charm, baby. So I started making my way back out. I heard a couple of drakes. But there was none. Oh, God. So I started making my way back out. For the third time. When I heard something I did not want to hear. And then me being the scarred little boy that I am, I walked real slow past this point knowing that I crashed here last time. More force feeding. And it was at this point that I knew that I had to leave my Ravager behind. And I'm so sorry. So I used my climbing picks to get my way out of here. But finally, I surfaced. Finally. After getting out, I decided I needed some silica pearls so I could make electronics for them air conditioners. The spinal boy was good enough to help me out with this journey. So I started crafting some air conditioners. And then I found myself in Anklio. Once again, me not using my drink darts, made an Anklio saddle and named him ankles and man was he better than just me and a hatchet more air conditioners I used them to farm up some crystal because I needed that for the air conditioners as well and dude he was such a good boy he was doing his job great I then started laying the foundation for my incubation room And at this point, now I knew what they felt like back in the day when they discovered electricity. But I placed that generator. Let there be power. I then started placing my AC units down. I needed to be able to get this rock drake ready and a healthy young man. Threw the egg down. Too hot. Of course. So then I gathered up some more materials. More air conditioners. Ah, too hot. Why? More air conditioners. I mean, dude, this is this has to be enough, right? This I mean, this is 20. This is it. I know this is it. Too hot? Okay. Come on. Oh! We got it! I then ventured out into the blue zone to kill some nameless so I could get that nameless venom. I needed a bunch, apparently, for my rock trade. It was going swell. Already six? And after doing that for a while, it was finally time. He was here. And I named him Drake. What a glorious name. And he was growing up to be a beautiful young boy. And he was very hungry. Look at those colors. And he is so beautiful. Look at that boy. Oh, dude, those feathers are so cool. He started crafting a light source. It was a little dim. So I placed that light. Boom. Look at the difference. Are you... Really? Again? I then realized I made a grave mistake by not getting red gems while I was in the red zone the first time. So this time I brought my Ravager back, but I had a cryopod. Technology. 
So we made our way down. It was gonna be a long one. Made the jump. And I was here. And everything and their mothers was chasing me. At this point I knew that when I didn't have a bulb dog, everything came out. And as I'm fighting, I looked up. Hello, motherfucker. But he seemed to be glitched out on that rock, so I wasn't too worried. Started farming these red gems. Force feeding. And now it was time to make the saddle and go on our first ride. Oh. My. God. How the hell does this thing work? Ooh. Ooh, this is weird. Oh. Yo. That was so cool. Dude, he can literally go on any surface. I can go anywhere. I can go anywhere. I'm God. This is freaking sick. Oh. Yo, this is so freaking amazing. What have I been doing? Dude, that boost is so cool, man. When I got back, I started building the platform. And I started farming some stone. I was planning on making a bunch of forges. What the? Bro. Really? I feel like I'm always drowning and pooping myself. Found some more metal. Dude, this is... Hell, he too. Come on. Gosh, man. <laughs> My hair. Hello, motherfucker. I think it was finally time I made some scissors. I couldn't deal to look at that again. So then I started playing around with the different styles. And it came down to being romantic. Look at that glorious hair. But I had to go bald first. And then I went and started farming with my Anklio. And look at this. Look at the amount of metal. And then I decided I finally should get a roll rat. They're amazing wood farmers I hear. I definitely enjoyed the way of taming these. It's pretty interactive. And I named him Ronnie. I headed back. And started crafting up a roll rat saddle, which damn was expensive. Yo, what? That's so cool. Look at the wood, man. That is... Got all my forgers going. I had a crafty little system going here. And then I started building, well, I have no idea what this is. But it was cool. And then I started crafting up some riot gear so I could be stronger. Faster, better. And now it was time that I took on this cave that I found on my travels. I just wanted to go out and show you the location. It was near the portal. But I brought my Ravager, just in case. And I had to turn on the good old yoke. And down we went. Knocked out the good old carny boy. <laughs> bye bye. Traverse deeper. And when I got here, I was ambushed by everything. Everything under the sun decided, oh, let's kill him. But no match for me. Oh, dude, tell me the artifact is not here, really? Ah. Uh, bro, this game. I think Cryo potted up my Ravager because it was time for me to get out, and I couldn't make this jump. So I put out my handy dandy climbing picks. And on we went. I ended up using the cheat GFI to give myself that artifact because I was not doing this again. 
can never risk anything in this game going through something twice and crashing. When I got back home, I went into the river, and I started killing everything because there's trilobites in here, and I needed oil. It was time for me to grab the chemistry bench. Damn, man, this spino is so strong. It just makes light work of everything. Trilobites are an excellent way for getting oil, black pearl, silica, titan, anything you need really. The glorious little buggy. The greatest feeling ever is seeing a thousand yellow words and not knowing what any of it means. I went home and started crafting some electronics. Turned on my good old forge. And it was time. I was able to make a chemistry bench. So I placed it down. Placed a good old generator for the power source. And look at that! It makes it so fast. Oh. Maybe it's time. I went absolute hand on every time when I found that XP mode. This was the biggest waste of materials ever. 8,000 metal? But I crafted it anyways because man it was high damage. 1,500? Ha 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 ha! Then went to this area to try to go to the surface. Bro. When I finally got to the surface, I realized something. There was these little secret things in the Reaper Kings. Oh, dude, this thing is 255. Oh my gosh, man, I'm gonna die up here. This thing is so strong. Holy hell, he hits hard. I fought with him for a while and then ran away like a little. <clears throat> Anyways. He finally backed himself into a corner, which made it easy for me. Dead. And then I started going and trying to get all these supply bins. And they were all absolute dog crap. But after about two or three hours of real time, this is what I came up with. Look at that, all those colors, baby. We were making it somewhere. It's time for me to make some scuba gear for the next cave. Started a fight with this Alpha Carcinos, which at the end of the day was a terrible idea. I'm out. Okay, he is jacking me up, man. Go, go, go. And then I took a dive into the cave. Yo, what? There's eels? This was my new shotgun, 337 damage. This water was heavily dangerous. So we traversed further, and there was all kinds of scary creatures. There were snakes, sarcos, anglers. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this first shot. I was point blank and missed the shot with the shotgun. Felt bad. Anyways, I traverse further, and no artifact, once again. This was the stare of straight emptiness. Next cave. This one seemed scarier. There was this purple liquid everywhere, but I stayed on the high ground, so I seemed to be fine. And nothing in this cave aggroed on me. And finally I saw an artifact, but I had to kill everything around it because they would aggro me if I got off. Wow, an artifact that's actually here. What a concept. Then I started making my way back out. And out we go. 
And this is my Rockwell box I started. It's coming along quite nicely, if you ask me. Started crafting up some canteens because the water jars just weren't cutting it. And then I fought with this Alpha Reaper. And look at that. Another thing we needed to fight Walkwell. Walk well. So this next thing you're about to see, the fastest I can explain it, is basically I went to the surface, went AFK, and we got scorched to death, me and my rock drake. So uh, I was heavily sad, went and got another egg, incubated it, and here we are. The walk of shame. Finally, something good. And by the way, I named my next drake, Rock. And we went to the surface again, as if I didn't learn my lesson, for more care packages. And we just chilled up here for a while. Found a bow and arrow that I'll never use. And then I saw this ghost reaper. And when I killed him, I got a ghost reaper costume. And I'm not gonna lie, I kept killing Reaper Kings because, at the time, I thought that they would drop pheromones. I don't want to talk about it. I then started a fight with this Alpha Basilisk that I found on my travels, and I needed what he dropped for Rockwell. I ran out of stamina, so luckily I killed him when I did, otherwise I probably would have been dead. And I started crafting some med brews. It was all just in preparation for Rockwell. Started making some shock tranks. Those combined with my new long neck would be quite handy. And then I painted my double barrel all black. And this is me testing out my new long neck with the shock tranks and only two to take down the Spino. Wow. That new shotgun was glorious. I mean, dude, it took down anything I needed. And I crafted a catapult to take down some Tarquinos. And these are a couple clips of how reckless I was. But it just seemed like nothing was going my way. I didn't really know what I was doing. I killed at least 30 of them. And then I got trigger happy. It would have been nice if I knew what I was doing. And then we killed him. And then we killed him. I finally knocked one out after readjusting my whole strategy. And when he tamed, I named him Ark. Short for Carquinos. I then crafted a Carquino saddle, not realizing I had an ascendant one. And that was the team so far. They were looking beautiful, glorious. I then went back to the surface to fight more Reaper Kings, not knowing. Still, they did not drop pheromones because they were not queens. And this, what you're about to see, is me finally realizing I was wrong. So we traveled down through the blue zone, which by the way was very beautiful. Ark definitely knows how to make the, the scenery good. Traverse deeper. And the further down I got, the scarier it got. But then I finally saw the tail. It was her. Yo, what are you doing? What are you- What? What the heck? He just- Really? He just jumped off? So I made the jump and went for it. Luckily I'm still alive. But I did real quick. I needed those pheromones, so I went back. And I joined the edge. And this is the first Reaper Queen I ever fought, and man, let me tell you, she could soak up damage. Even with the light on her, she soaked up so much damage, but I finally got full Reaper Pheromones. 
At that point, I felt like an idiot because I killed about a hundred Reaper Kings. But at the end of the day, we got them, so that's all that matters. I just needed to kill one more to have the perfect amount for Rockwell. And as I was fighting this one, all was going well until a second Reaper Queen showed up. And 52 damage and 3 damage doesn't seem like a lot until two of them are tranking you the entire time as well. So I dipped. And waited for the perfect opportunity to attack one. And we got the last four we needed. So, slowly but surely I made my way out. And our Rockwell box was very, very close to what we needed. But I, personally, was nowhere near ready. So I started breeding. And then I started building some gates. So I could give my base some protection. Wow. An egg. Went out and started farming some more with my roll rat. I needed thatch. More gates. More gates. Oh, the little rolly boy. So cool. And then went out with my ankles. Because I need more stone, of course. And it was coming along quite nicely, actually. Just adding some finishing touches here. I then got a bright idea that I wanted a basilisk. So I crafted a basilisk saddle. Not too bad on the expenses there. Another egg. Then crafted myself a handy dandy industrial grill because I had so much meat and I couldn't keep up. But man, this thing produced. Then went down to the blue zone again because I needed more rock drake eggs to tame a basilisk. Then I got ambushed by a billion of them. Force feeding. Man, let me tell you, stealing rock drake eggs with a rock drake was so much easier than it was with the ravager. I just felt invincible at this point. I mean, it, it was light work. Another egg. And then I fought more rock tricks because they were finally getting pissed off at me. I had stolen all their babies. And then we started making our way out of here. And I will never get over how cool that is. So we got back to our base. And I got five eggs. And I don't want to talk about this either. But as I started killing this man, I was reading the article that said you cannot tame ghost animals. So back down to the blue zone we went. Is there no basilisks? We're down here. I then threw down an egg. Not knowing if it would eat it off the floor, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. But then as he passed, Munch. We tamed him. And I named him... A Roach. Put the saddle on him and took him for a little test ride and... Yo man, this thing is sick, what? He slithers actually really fast. And that is cool too. Ended up putting him in a cryopod and bringing him back home. Once I got back, gave you a good look at him, and man was he sick looking. I then decided I wanted to hatch another rock drake egg. Took Basilisk out for a more in-depth run. And wow, it was just so much fun fighting with him. And when I got back, I had to check on my good old Rock Drake, and he was grown up quite nicely. I then started destroying my old incubation room, because I wanted to make a bigger, nicer, and more organized one. 
down the old and up with the new. I had no idea what design I was going for, but I was quite proud of my little catwalk ACs. I then wanted to decorate, so I placed this flag only to find out that I couldn't put anything on it. How ridiculous. I then started building a porch in front of my house. It was coming along quite well. I then placed down some benches and some chairs because I needed a comfortable porch, a welcoming one. And then I took a sit and look how beautiful. My rock drake was finally ready and my barrier around my base was complete. I then went out with my good old Ronnie and started farming some more because I needed to finish the roof above my porch. I had no idea what I was going to use this space for, but it looked really cool. So I went with it. Bam! It's done. I then got this bright idea to make a greenhouse even though I was on aberration and there was no sunlight, but I thought it would work. So I placed down the walls, then placed all the taps. And then this Carquinos had the balls to grab me. Stupid man. So I went out and started farming some more. To be able to finish up my greenhouse. Those numbers, man, I'll never get over it. Came back and decided it was a little too dim for my liking, so I made some more light sources. And then I planted a, a species Z seed that I found off this little weirdo plant and then I went out and took out some more anger on all the little fish I'll never get over this <laughs> when I came back I had realized that when I killed the ghost basilisk I got the costume look how transparent and beautiful and then decided to bury him look at his little head dicking out then went out and started farming some more blue gem and crystal. I needed more hazard gear for what was to come. Then went back into the blue zone a little bit deeper. When this happened. Yo, what? Okay, these mushrooms aren't working. What is this? I had given up. And then I found what seemed to be a megalosaurus which I heard were really strong dinos. So two shots, then I put her down. And when she finally came, I named her Gallums, short for Megalosaurus. When I got home, I made a Megalosaurus saddle. And then I took her out for a test drive and look at those numbers, man, she was doing so much damage. Holy crap, this thing's strong. When I got back home, I decided to make a cooker. And then I placed it down. And dude, this thing was insane. It made med brew so quick. I then went out and tamed a Listro for that XP gains. And I named him Easy because he was really easy to get. After that, I went back down into the blue zone to try to find more Megas when this happened. Again, bro. Oh. When I came back, I started hatching up some good old spino eggs. Oh! I named the first one Mino. Good name. Threw down another egg, and then I made some spino saddles. I named the next one Spike. These names were getting ridiculous. What the? Yo, what are you? You're dumb, bro. I then made some feeding troughs. Two of them to be exact, that way my dinos never went hungry. I named the next one Mike. I had lost all hope. Next one was Abe. Look how cute he was. 
It seemed as though the Lystra was working. And now was the time that I had been dreading. Down to the red zone. Started building a Reaper Queen trap. I was going to try to get impregnated. And the first victim. Oh man. Oh, she's so scary, especially when I'm not on an animal. This thing scared the absolutely living crap out of me. I started shooting it and never saw a glow, it just died. That took a lot of work. The next one started attacking and made it out of the cage. Somehow, knocked me back a hundred million yards. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh god, no, please run, please. Oh god, don't, don't die, don't die. I then started getting really desperate and tried attacking it with a sword, which was a terrible idea. Again, man? Come on, no, please! After my mental breakdown, I saw it glowing, finally, because I put the bulb dog down. And then she roared at me, man. This thing is so frightening. But I stayed patient. I stood there and waited. And that's when it happened. Wait, is this it? Oh. Okay, go, run. I got the baby, I got the baby, I got the baby. On my way out, I noticed that I needed to offer XP, and I found an XP note. So I ended up killing this Karkinos. When it went to 52,000 experience? And then... Oh, dang. It just came out of me. And now, I claimed him. After a few glitches, he was grown up nicely, but it seemed as though he was stuck in the greenhouse wall. So I had to go and demolish it. Yes, he was stuck inside my roof. But then he was still stuck at this point. Is he stuck on his chair? There's no way, bro. There's no way. Oh my god, he was stuck on the chair. Really? I then started finishing the upper level of my barrier on my base. And it was finally time. That was so cool. And then for the love of all things holy, I was hoping this was my last bulldog tame. And I named him Susan. And then I went and started getting some more packages. Went back up to the surface. And at this point for me, fighting Reaper Kings was the norm. And then this thing disappeared as soon as I freaking opened it. So I went to the next one. Finally found some good armor. 621. And then this was the package that changed it all. <gasps> no! Finally, bro! Let's go! And after loot hunting, I went back to the blue zone to get myself a male Pegalosaurus. And down he went. And when he tamed, I named him Gabriel. I have no idea why. I then put him in the cryopod, went back home. And then when I got back, I of course made a Megalosaurus saddle for him. And then I enabled mating on both. But little did I know that they pooped out babies so much they did not stop. Baby after baby after baby after egg. And they incubated so fast and didn't even need the AC. Nonstop. Eggy. Eggy. 
had to disable mating because I just could not keep up. And then I went out and started leveling them up. Look at that beautiful team. Man, I was building up. And then I started picking up their poop because I didn't want to go get a dung beetle and this was just easier. And then I started planting all my seeds. And then, what is this? Species Z fruit? What does this do? Oh, oh gosh, what the heck? I can't see! I'm blind! And then I went and checked on my Megas, and dude, this Listro was amazing. Look at that. And then it was time for a short break. I made some tombstones, and I put on the first one. R.I.P. Raptor, whose name I forgot. And on the second one, I put R.I.P. Sizen. Died inside. Day. One. And then shortly after, I decided I was going to make some paint and start painting. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm no zany zebra. But I figured I'd give it a try. I made a sandy beach in the water with the reflection on it. Made a sun. And put some yellow in the sand for more depth. And then I drew a tree. And then some more trees. Guys, Zany makes this look easy. It's not. But that was the final product. It was horrible. And then I started drawing a bulb dog, which went even worse. <laughs> Look at this pool, man. <laughs> then I drew on some little feetsies. I then started mass producing bullets so I can make a buttload of shotgun rounds. I was was trying to prepare for the good old Rockwell. I then went to check on my Citronel to be highly disappointed. I then went to the nearest supply crate to start making a buttload of crowd buds for all my tanks so I could bring them into the fight with me. And then I went back home. And I decided I'm gonna make a cliff platform. Why? I don't know. But I did. And then I placed it and stood there in loathing glory. Then shortly after, I began leveling up all my megas again. I just stacked up that DPS, baby. And then, the next day, I ended up going to my original base location. I just wanted to check it out and see where I started, you know. It was very small and cute. Then went to the portal. This is my starting location. Man, it kind of makes me sad that we're getting so close to the end. But here it is. I then went to the surface to go farm up some obsidian so I can make polymer, so I can make a grinder. And then I placed the grinder in that room that I had no purpose for. And I've never used one of these before. They're so cool. You just hit grinder, then boom, resources. And this is the new look the world shall know me by. Sizen. I then got spray happy and sprayed literally everything on my base. But I'm surely about to show you what I've worked so hard for. Right up until I left.
It just hit day 100. We have the whole squad here. We got all the Megalosauruses. We got the three Spinos, Mr. Reaper King, your boy Rock Drake, and we can't forget about Susan on my shoulder. I have 251 med brews. I have 750 shotgun rounds. So let's do this. All right, guys. I'll see you on the other side. God. Once. Oh no, I have nothing left. Oh my goodness. It's just me and the world. Come on, come on. Oh god. Oh, I did still have something alive. It just. It's dead now. I gotta soak up some of this damage. I mean, I can't take them all. There we go. Let's get in there. If those can hit me, I don't care, I don't care. Oh, that's all I got? So annoying. Come on, come on. Come on. We need to do a lot of damage here because the last one we didn't get anything. Looks like we'll have two more go-arounds. So I need to put some more armor on, man. I don't have time, I don't have time. Oh, my Reaper King! No! Oh, you don't know how hard I worked for him. Let's go! Bro, this is so sick, man. What? Yo, that's the portal, it's all alive and well. That is so cool. Yes, what an incredible journey, man. That was so much fun. Definitely not easy, but so much fun. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please support. Feel free to leave a like, maybe even a subscribe. And if you really liked it, maybe you'll play on Extinction next. Goodbye, I love you all.